Good old Harrisburg. I never knew Harrisburg had so many bridges. There's one right there. Let's see if we can focus that. There's another one over there. I've always driven through Harrisburg, but I've never actually stayed in Harrisburg. Good morning, guys. It's Alex, AKA Sir Scrouse, again here with Nurse Street Gamers. And this weekend, we are at Harrisburg University for the Hue Festival, which is a gaming and music festival here in Harrisburg University. Collegiate teams from all over are participating in tournaments all weekend, and we are the tournament organizers. Harrisburg is a beautiful city and it's actually the capital of Pennsylvania and as you guys know Nursery Gamers right now we are based out of Philadelphia. This festival is supposed to have music, food, gaming um, and as I said we are the tournament organizers so now that I've got everything packed up let's go check it out. tournament this weekend is being run across three floors. On the first floor, you have the pit, which includes the Overwatch and the League of Legends group play. On the second floor is the League of Legends staging area, along with the free play area. And on the third floor, you have the Overwatch stage. It's very exciting to see everything start to come together here, but I think the tournaments are just starting. So come on, let's go. To say being here at Hue Festival with all of these collegiate esport athletes is pretty impressive. I mean, some of them are here on college scholarships, some of them are even here on full rides for esports specifically. We got some interviews with players, coaches, and even the people here at Harrisburg University who are in charge of the esports program. My name is Max Akesson, I'm from Sweden, and my gamer tag is Rat. My name is Axel, and uh, my in game name is also Axel, and I play. DPS for Maryville University. So for me, it has always been a dream of mine to go to college in the US. I never thought I would actually be able to do it. I got this offer to play for Maryville, and I'm so grateful for it. And uh, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity, so it's incredible. My name is Parker Kane Lewis. I'm from Houston, Texas, and I attend Maryville University. So for me, my second two years of high school, I had to attend as like a separate university, a private university. Because of that, it was like really financially uh, hard on my family. So being able to get a scholarship, especially for esports, is like really, really huge to me because my scholarship, it pretty much enables me to just do a lot of stuff that I wouldn't have the opportunity to do before. It's also allowed me to open up and like get a career into esports, like after I'm done playing, because I won't be a player forever. So it'll allow me to become a coach, become a manager, uh, just get into like the business side of esports, like just have an opportunity to be a part of something that I really, really enjoy and appreciate. And we have always been talking about like, going here, going to college, and now through playing Overwatch and college getting into the esports scene has like opened up this opportunity for us to actually come here. What's great about this opportunity is that we also get an education, so in case we don't go pro, we still have that education in our back. My name is Chad Smeltz. I'm the director of esports at Harrisburg University. Esports in collegiate has been growing so fast and so large that it's provided so many things. Uh, scholarships obviously are a very big one. When parents see that esports provides scholarships, it's something that they can realize that it's serious and that it's a, it's a big industry. That's something that I'm super excited about. But it also provides experience for people to learn jobs that are related to esports, whether it's marketing or production or anything on the back end. It's exciting to see all the things that go into, say, making an event and then having that apply to colleges and to be able to learn more from it. Well guys, day one is coming to a close. Teams are starting to head home for the night. Tonight marks the end of group stages, which means tomorrow we have the finals. And I'm super excited because there are a ton of good teams here and I'm excited to see who's gonna come out on top. I'll see you all in the morning. 
Good morning, guys. It's day two of Hugh Fest, also the finals day for the esports competition. There's a ton of good collegiate teams that have made it out of group stage. Let's go find out who's going to come out on top. Also, if you're wondering what these massive buildings are behind me, this is the Pennsylvania State Capitol Complex. You guys have seen the pit, some of the other stages, but nothing compares to this stage. Look at this. In just a few hours, this place is gonna fill up with spectators for the championship of both League of Legends and Overwatch. We've been waiting for this all weekend. This place isn't even full yet and it's already electric in here. They're about to get started. Here we go. All right, guys, thank you so much for coming by the vlog. Hugh Fest was a huge success. Congratulations to the winners, Maryville and Columbia Universities on their victories this weekend. If you guys took anything from this weekend, it's that collegiate esports is gonna be huge. You guys saw how successful this event was this weekend, how many teams participated, and how good the competition was. I can't wait to see where collegiate esports goes years from now. Once again, I'm Alex, AKA Sir Skralix with Nerd Street Gamers, and I'll see you in the next one.